Lay the drain wires evenly back over the jacket and press them into the red sealant. Using light tension, wrap two more layers of red sealant over the braid and the first two layers of sealant. If using a lug or lug with shim on any cable type, you now apply the red sealant tape on the lug barrel or over the shim. Build up the lug diameter to the cable insulation diameter and overlap the insulation by one half inch. If not using a lug, wrap two layers of the red sealant onto the cable insulation as shown. Remember, sealant will not prevent water ingress between the strands of the conductor. Now position the red HV tube at the bottom edge of the red sealant on the jacket. If working on a unishield or wire shield cable, twist the drain wires to make a ground lead at this time. Begin shrinking at the ground end and work toward the lug. Allow the tube to cool enough to touch before proceeding. If necessary, trim excess tubing from the lug area as shown. Inspect your installation. Reheat any flat spots or wrinkles. With this, the indoor termination is complete. For outdoor terminations, now is the time to install the skirts or sheds. According to the voltage class of the cable, determine the number of total skirts you will need. The correct number and positioning are shown in the instructions. Position the first skirt and shrink it into place. Hold the edge of the skirt lightly with pliers. Shrink as shown. Only the collar will shrink. If additional skirts are to be installed, position them so that they are four and a half inches between the top ends of the skirts. Make sure the skirts are all facing in the same direction. Shrink them in place. Check that the skirts have been evenly shrunk and appear symmetrical with no tilt or sag. If the termination is to be used in the inverted position, make sure that the skirts are also installed in an inverted position. Your outdoor termination is now complete.